Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Canvas LMS for Dummies. Uh, I am Heather Bernat and I am the Instructional Technology Coach at Davies and Discovery. I just wanted to welcome you to the course and give you a heads up about a couple things. The reading in this book is somewhat technical. It's very much go do this and go do that. I really encourage you to explore some of the things that they are showing you how to do in the book. So the one thing that you're going to need is a sandbox course uh, for this book. Um, I know the writers of this book have stated um, time and time again that really the, the best thing that you can do is have a sandbox course um, that you can just kind of go around, click in, and really try to break things. So to get a sandbox course, many of you have one, or all of you should have one with your name on it down underneath your unpublished course if you're on your dashboard. You can scroll down and you can find that sandbox course. Some of you have been working within your sandbox course, so it's kind of messy, some things. So if you want a new sandbox course, you can have as many as you want. You are going to go about halfway down the page on the right side, and it's going to say start a new course. You're just going to click that. Um, which count do you want your course to be associated with? Whatever school that you're at, this time I'm just going to throw it in there. And then your course name, you can name it whatever you want. This time I'm going to go. Canvas for Dummies practice so that I know these are the things that they're asking me to do. I'm just going in there and practicing. I can click create and it's going to create a course for me. It's going to bring you right to what chapters one and two are wanting you to do um, with your settings and things like that of your course. So um, that option is there for you. I just also wanted to um, draw your attention to the expectations for Canvas use for next year. Um, those expectations are going to be, um, number one, that you use um, all of your assignments and due dates are going to be posted on the Canvas calendar. Um, the Canvas inbox will be used to communicate with students. So those two chapters, when you are in the Canvas calendar and Canvas inbox chapters, you're really going to want to pay attention to some of the things that you can do with those things. Um, also, your modules are going to be used to organize different things. Think of your modules as like folders that hold all of the different things that you can put inside your Canvas course. Um, and then we're going to use some Zoom integration um, within Canvas to be used for in um, e-learning days. Your tech coach will walk you through that stuff at the beginning of the year, so don't panic too much for that, but these are some of the chapters that you're really going to want to pay close attention to. Um, like I said, you're not going to break anything, so get into that sandbox course, click around, don't worry about ruining anything, nobody's going to see the course except for you, so um, have fun with it, explore, um, experiment with different things, it'll have a little bit of fun with it, enjoy. <laughs> 